All right, everyone, this is sort of unplanned, but um, I just drilled some holes in this in this snoop box here put some for some ventilation. It's supposed to be in the 90s or get to 90 today. And I'm thinking if these bees have done without the queen for a week, uh, maybe I can just uh, release the queen right now. I already took the cork out, so I might have already missed it. But the bees don't, they seem to be you know, in a nice orderly fashion around the queen. Oh, no, they're on the cork. Which was pretty, it's not a really deep cork, so. She might still be in there. But I was hoping to catch her walking out. So they were able to get, but well, that would be a long time before they got through that candy, I think. So they're all in there, and... They're not doing too much. Uh, doesn't look like they're stinging her, I can't even see her. So let's see if they can... Bees are all over my fingers. Please don't let me get stung. If anything, they'll probably go for the salt that I'm... Oh, there she is, she came out. You see her right there? Let me bring her back down to the, the bottom here. Oh, it's stepping on. So there she is. Can you see her right there? They're all attending to her. So it doesn't look like they're... So I think I'll do release the other queen too. Although that's a completely separate animal, separate hive, and not going to be the same behavior guaranteed. Ooh, this creepy feeling with the bees on my fingers here. Not used to that. Ooh. What happened? Whew, I thought she flew off for a second there. Oh, there she is. She's in the hive. She's down into the hive. So she's in. Let me move this back over. So she's in the hive. I'm just concerned of losing any, excuse my back of my arm there, any time here because time is of the essence, I think. Get her laying as quickly as possible. But she just absconds and everybody leaves. But um, yeah. She's released and seems to be accepted. Let me get these guys off of the cage here. I think I'll just put, put them on the top cover here, on the inside cover. Put the rest of the sugar water on here. And the box with the new ventilation holes there. They're already fanning this morning the front entrance, which I have the reducer on. I wonder if I should just open that up. So you can see them fanning there, but they don't have a big population, so maybe it's... Um, wise to just leave that the smaller opening so they can defend. I, I do have another opening up at the top here and I just like I said I just added those openings there They're just under half of it half of the circle the circumference is underneath the telescoping cover. There's a little bit of a breeze today so that should be sufficient um, ventilation. They should be able to regulate that. So, on to the next box there. Release that queen. Look, they're all on the cover right on, on top of her, where the cage was. So they're working on the sugar on this side, but there's the cork on this other side. 
It's funny, there was one bee on the other one, on the other nuke box too, working on the cork. If I get her out of the way. Whoa. I hope there's not a smell of other pheromone on this. All right, here's the cork. Let me put this down here. Take the cork out. Here she comes. Set the poking out. There she goes. Looks like they're accepting her. All right, let me close this up. All right, so early release. A little impatient there. I didn't want to wait for uh, how many days it was going to take for them to eat through the the candy plug. And um, I'm pretty confident that both these hives, both these swarms, did not have queens. Um, one, I didn't see any eggs. Um, and uh, two, the way they uh, accepted the queen. So. Um, yeah, not sure what happened here. Um, I was discussing it with the people uh, that I purchased the queens from. I said, you know, I was giving it some thought that maybe it's, that um, Swarm Lure, the bee commander, could be a double-edged sword because if, if they're thinking that they have a queen um, and the queen didn't make it, they're not, they're not that upset yet because they still have the pheromone uh, in the hive of a queen. And the other hive is thinking, well, if we have a queen, she sure isn't laying um, something wrong with her. And they're starting to make a queen cup, but they didn't, they didn't have any eggs that they were gonna use unless a worker would start laying. So yeah, the way they um, accepted the queens, uh, I, I'm pretty confident that neither of these hives uh, had a queen or have, have a queen, whether they had one. Um, and something happened to her, who knows. And somehow the, uh, the swarm split. So this is New England gardening. Uh, probably won't look at these bees for at least a week, if not two. Uh, thanks for watching.